Hi. I know a lot of people are starting to collect uh, American pottery. Um, more specific, this video will talk about uh, the differences in the brown drip. Uh, that, uh, of course, comes from the, the glaze, the brown drip with the kind of the frosting around the edges and on the top. Um, it always reminded me of uh, a nice bowl of hot or a nice cup of hot chocolate. Um, I'm going to discuss <clears throat> the differences, what to look for, and what, what's really not worth um, your time. Uh, four main houses or so. Um, well, I guess there's a little less than a dozen, half a dozen, are um, McCoy pottery, which you'll see here, McCoy USA, they're one of their stamps. Another one of the McCoy stamps is just MCP. It's on the bottom of some of their dishes. See the coffee mug and then MCP. That's also McCoy. Um, you have uh, Roseville which I'll show you on the bottom of this. It's very easy to see. Roseville, USA. And um, then I believe, of course, the main one a lot of people see um, is Hull. Now Hull, see there it says Oven Proof USA. Uh, some people say these are um, unattributed, but they are Hull. Um, but normally, when you look at a Hull piece, it will have... Um, let me see if I can find one. I'll check on their mugs. It'll actually say um, Hull Oven Proof USA. And sometimes it'll be in cursive, sometimes it'll be print. And uh, experts use that to date the piece. Um, so, again, I'll look at and show you another Hull that doesn't have, it just says USA. Um, then you have the generic. Um, or it's still attributed to Hull, but or McCoy, but they just say USA on the bottom. Um, here's another. It's a generic. Not sure what house this is with, but um, that's another USA brand. Uh, then you have some really cheap knockoffs. Um, you also another another company while I'm at it is Fotscraft. They're still in business, um, so a lot of their stuff isn't. Um, as desirable. See, this is an imitation. Uh, has no mark. So um, these are just kind of generic. Really not worth it. These are like ten cents a plate, I think. Um, and then you've got some Japanese um, knockoffs. You can tell them by the orange uh, pottery, orange clay they use. Um, these houses, Hall, McCoy, um, Roseville. Um, don't exist anymore. There was a, a fire at one of them, and then through just um, the economy, not great at the time, a lot of those uh, pottery houses, large pottery houses in Ohio, shut down. Um, so that's what makes uh, the fact that you can't get these anymore, that's what makes them more desirable. Um, Roseville on some of theirs, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a raised, their glaze is raised around the edge. It's actually the, the pottery piece is raised, um, and they tend to be darker. Foxcroft, who is still uh, makes, um, who did make brown drip, it's, it's decent brown drip, um, but since they're still in business, they can always uh, reissue or make more, so theirs is not as desirable too. Also, um, Foxcroft, if you'll notice, much like Rose Hill, has a darker brown, whereas your Hull and McCoy have a nice, richer um lighter, deeper brown. Um, in the different houses, Hull, McCoy, and Roseville, you even have different um, grades that date them to either pre-1950, pre-1960 to post. Um, you want a plate with the rings on it. That um, dates the piece to more desirable. Um, if it has just a smooth bottom, it's less desirable. Um, putting it in about a two three dollar range where your plates with the rings um, are more like your seven or eight dollar range um, we also some pieces I don't have here because I'm just displaying these and kind of talking about the differences um, McCoy and Hull both make uh, odd pieces they make uh, frogs and donkeys and hens and and uh, just different barnyard characters anything that they could uh, they make a train um, like brown drip 
uh, but without the cream uh, glazer on the edge is um, I believe it's Mirkast. Um, it's all dark brown so if you like that brown hue um, there's plenty of those out there. We, ha we actually have some cookie jars of theirs but it's, I want to say it's Mirkast. I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right now but uh, I'm sure you could google that. Um, but as we say anytime you see like this coffee mug you always want to look for the different tones uh, find the one that has the more cream around the edge, uh, kind of a nice cream foam glaze. Kind of imagine you're you're drinking a nice cup of hot chocolate, and the marshmallows and the foam on the top. That's kind of what you're looking for. Um, always want to check the bottom, make sure it says USA Whole Oven Proof. Um, and most of these, the McCoy and the Whole, they'll all be in kind of the same price range. Um, Kathy Kale, I find a lot. Um, I really, unless it's an like an unusual piece like this party server, um, I don't pick them up just because you, you still find a lot of those out there. Um, they're a latter date. I think they're more of 70s, 80s. Um, so not as hard to find. The big serving dishes are very popular. And again, this is McCoy. You can see the dark, dark glaze here with their stamp. And just kind of give you a, a quick comparison um, to that McCoy is this hull. Again, uh, we're going to see the rings on the bottom. We see the nice hull uh, brand, Oven Proof USA, very desirable plate. Uh, you're looking in a, anywhere for that plate, eight to eight to fourteen dollars. Um, if you go around to flea market chart sales, um, we bought a large selection from a guy who uh, uh, had split with his girlfriend and she collected, so we were able to, to grab a, a lot that way. Um, what you really want to avoid, even though um, they may look similar, is the knockoffs. Um, as you can tell, this glaze here is nowhere near as rich as, like, say, on the Hull and McCoy pieces. Um, it's more of a spray applique. It's a, a glaze baked in. Um, no mark on the bottom. You're talking about a 10, 15 cent plate. Uh, and what you definitely want to stay away from is anytime you look, even even if you see a nice rich glaze, even if you see um, secondary glazes and a, a nice piece, uh, if you flip it over and you see this orange color um, terracotta type play, uh, clay, stay away from it. It's cheap. Uh, they're gonna they're not gonna be microwavable. They're not gonna be ovenproof. They're they're really. Um, I got this thrown in with a set of a hole that I bought, and uh, I mean they're just they're cheap. They're very thin walled. They're shoddy. They're not worth, um, I think that piece, uh, not worth more than a dollar if it's unusual. Um, comparing the two butter dishes, uh, you can see like the, uh, the hole here puts a, a nice secondary rich glaze there. It's got a uh, really aesthetically pleasing. I mean, it's, it's an awesome, uh, this butter dish, 20 to $35. McCoy, um, Right under it at about 12 to 18. Um, again, good deep rich glaze. Um, great mark on the bottom. They're numbered a lot of their pieces as far as their design code. So, very desirable. Even if you come across like, like this hole which is chipped, still throw it in your collection because you can always use it um, for utilitarian purposes. And that's what we use a lot of the cheap knockoffs. Uh, we don't put these in our collection. We don't put these out. Um, if we find them, somewhere 10 20 cents a plate we'll grab them just to use um for dinner service um every day because uh a they're not they're not oven proof you're not going to be able to microwave on them uh and if you just want to dirty them up and leave your good brown drip um for your collection or for your display do it uh invest in it that way so that's all if you have any questions uh just comment me and i will be happy to get back with you